Welcome back everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Today I am revealing the secrets of close range in front of you and will give you some amazing and easy drills to improve. I know you all want to play better, and want to clutch squads like I do. No worries, I will show you the simple and easy path so that you will never get confused again. I am Zekrom. If you are new here like the video and also do subscribe, watch this video till end because it's important, and without any further delay let's dive into the video. As far I know, to improve your close range so that you can easily handle panic situations, and do some amazing clutches you have to improve your muscle memory, but not the way you do, like you keep training for hours and hours, doing some nonsense fancy drills, which some fake YouTubers teach keep copying the sensitivity and controls of famous players etc. I know training is important, the only way you can improve in this game is by training. But you should know the best and simple way, so that your time and energy don't get wasted. Now moving to our main point. To improve your skills you just have to focus on these main two points, once you set them in your mind, and stick to them and you will see the results in no time. Number 1 movement. And number 2 hip fire. shocking right. But this is the truth. You don't need any other fancy moves to be a pro in close combat fights. Once you master the basics, no one can beat you, in any aspect. Now let me show you how you can master your movements and hip fire, and can be unstoppable. After warming up for 5 minutes, come to this place and do this exercise for 1 minute. This is the basics of movement as it will give you short basic jiggle. Make sure you cover one box complete like I do, keep focusing on my joystick. When enemies are too close within range of 10 meters then you have to use this type of jiggle, it will give you fast movements and short distance. After mastering your basic jiggle, improve your long jiggle which you can practice like this, come to this place and cover almost both tables, from red dot to 6x, like I am doing also you have to do this for 1 minute only. Now when can you use this type of movement? When you realize enemies are a little far, within range of 10 to 20 meters you can use this, as it will give you more crosshair stability, and you will cover a longer distance. If you want you can add crouch with long jiggle for better headshots, but that's not necessary if your hip fire is good enough. And then number 3 which is mixed jiggle. Watch some examples. As you can see how I am confusing my opponents, and they are not able to trace my movements. In most of situations when you feel like enemies are easily tracing my movements, you can try using mixed jiggle. To master this come to this place. And practice like this. On first start with normal jiggle and randomly start doing one side movements. The start jiggle will make your enemies feel, that you will use normal jiggle only, and when you mix your movements it will give them a shock and you can easily win that fight. Make sure you give one side movement randomly, and practice this on both sides like I am doing. Coming to the last type of movement that is one side ridge movement. Have you ever noticed, why competitive players perform one side movement instead of taking jiggle to jiggle fights on ridges? Well mainly because of two reasons. First, always a covering player remains there to cover main assaulters, and second and main. On the surfaces which are slant like this our movement speed increases and it gets difficult to trace the target. An example of this, which you can find in TDM. Use this movement on slant surfaces and ridges to improve your speed. Make sure you practice this on both sides and also keep your cross here up. Now as you have learned all type movement which are necessary for close range, I don't think that you will face any problems in close quarter fights, regarding movements. These are basic movements which every player should know, and these can be done by anyone, and on any control setup. Thumb. 3 4 5 finger anyone can master these, now it's up to you, how you will use these according to your situation. I consider now you have mastered your movements, and now let's move to second part which is hip fire. There can be many reasons of bad hip fire. Like your crosshair is not stable, you can't control hip fire bullet spread, you keep changing your TPP view settings and many more. Before moving to improvements, set your TPP view once and promise yourself I will never change it. Now many will ask what is best setting for TPP view, 80, 85 or 90. It's up to you, in which you feel stable, however I prefer keep it like 84 to 87, so that you will get both benefits, that is more view and stability too. Now let me show you some exercises to improve your hip fire. 
Number 1. This drill will not only improve your hip fire but will also improve your crosshair stability. Keep your crosshair on the top edge of this wall, as it is the same height of head level. But make sure you keep moving while practicing hip fire drills, as it will give you a feel of real combat situations and will enhance your muscle memory. When your movement becomes good you can combine the first drill of movement with this one, as practice is one drill for both hip fire and movement. Number 2. Come to firing zone and set these settings. And practice this drill for 3-4 minutes, make sure you practice short long and mixed jiggle while moving. This will enhance your stability while hip firing, and you will learn to control the hip fire spread with this. After mastering this one, you will feel improvements in your gameplay, and you will start noticing you are landing more and more headshots. And the third point for improving hip fire is that, playing 1v1 against your pro friend, but with hip fire only. Tell him not to use ADS and, try to fight with hip fire only. This will give you the real feel of close range. Use crouch and drop shots to reduce the bullet spread and for more headshots. Once you will start mastering the two points that is, movement and hip fire, you will definitely feel improvements in your gameplay. If you are still watching comment a blue heart, so that I will get some motivation and I will create more and more, amazing content like this. Now let's do a quick recap of today's topic. To get better at this game you just have to improve your movement, and hip fire. Movements include, short jiggle, long jiggle and mixed jiggle etc. Anyone can learn these movements in any control setup. You don't have to do any complex movements, or practice difficult drills, just focus on various type of jiggle and make improvements in your hip fire, and you are ready to go. If you enjoyed and learned something new, like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And remember basics are the keys to success. Keep improving and keep enjoying. See you in next one till then take care.